A non sequitur, which is a Latin term meaning does not follow, asserts that because a premise and a conclusion are true, then the argument is valid. However, that's not always the case. Let's look at one pattern of a non sequitur. If A is true, then B is true. B is true, therefore A is true. The problem with this is that even if a premise and a conclusion are both true, the conclusion is not necessarily a consequence of the premise which is why a non sequitur is an invalid argument. Let's look at some examples. If Sharon is a human, then Sharon is a mammal. Sharon is a mammal. Therefore, Sharon is a human. Now, while the conclusion may be true, it does not follow from the premise. Humans are mammals. Sharon is a mammal. Therefore, Sharon is a human. The truth of the conclusion is independent of the truth of its premise, which makes it a non sequitur. Sharon can be a mammal without being a human. She could also be a dolphin or a bat or a mouse. While all humans are mammals, not all mammals are humans. And that there is the problem with the argument. That's right. A similar pattern seen in non sequiturs is the same as the last pattern we saw, but where the premise is false rather than true. If A is true, then B is true. A is false. Therefore, B is false. Here's an example of this pattern. If I am a reader, then I like television. I am not a reader. Therefore, I dislike television. Again, there's a problem with this argument. The truth of the conclusion is independent of the truth of its premise. A person can be someone who enjoys reading but also enjoys watching television, even if there are some people who only like one thing or the other. So even if the conclusion is true, the premise may not be true, making the argument a fallacy. Here's the pattern for this example of a non sequitur once again. A is true or B is true. B is true, therefore A is not true. And here's an example. I'm either at my aunt's house or I'm in Ghazni. I'm at my aunt's house. Therefore, I am not in Ghazni. While the conclusion may be true, the premise in this example does not prove that. The person may be in their aunt's home, which is in Ghazni, or they may be in their aunt's home, which is in Kabul. We don't know where their aunt's home is. But the premise in this example, numbers one and two, can be true. But this doesn't make the conclusion true. To finish up, it's important to understand that non sequiturs can in fact have true conclusions and so appear to be logical. But what makes them non sequiturs is that the conclusion doesn't follow from the premise. Therefore, their argument is a fallacy. Remember, the meaning of the word non sequitur is does not follow. Now you know all about non sequiturs, and spotting them in arguments will help you be a better critical thinker.